I'm Nick Crutchfield and I'm in a wetland. Wetlands are shallow ecosystems that are saturated and submerged for at least part of the year. There are three types of wetlands. Swamps, which are wetlands with trees. Marshes, which are wetlands without trees. Bogs, which are areas of saturated ground composed of deep layers of accumulated, undecayed vegetation, or peat. And fens, which are basically bogs but are fed by groundwater. Some vegetation includes cattails, willows, wild rice, and pondweeds. They even have vegetation that has adapted to grow under the saturated conditions. Wetlands occupy less than 5% of the land in the U.S., but they have the richest animal biodiversity in the world, and at least one-third of all endangered species spend at least part of their lives in the wetlands. Some of these species may include... Turtles. Snakes. Frogs. Small fish, or even largemouth bass. There are also very many abiotic factors like water, soil, and wind. When planning a trip to the wetlands, here are the things you may want to bring. Pants, for when you're walking through the brush. A jacket, also for when walking through the brush. A hat to shade your eyes from the sun and rain. Boots for when walking through the muck. And Lost Season 3 on DVD. No, not really. We're kidding. You don't need that. However, you may need an umbrella for when it rains, because it tends to do that a lot in the wetlands. Hi, I'm Danny Delaney, your assistant wetlands travel guide. As you can see, wetlands are located all throughout the world on almost every single continent. They're in North America, South America, Asia, Africa, Europe, and Australia. Now back to Nick in the wilderness. Can I get off camera now, please? Now let's discuss the climate of a wetland. Usually in the summer it remains around 80 degrees, but in the winter it may drop to the low 60s. As for precipitation rain, the wetlands usually get around 60 inches of rain per year. That's a lot of rain! Wetlands have a huge impact on global warming. By destroying wetlands we are releasing huge amounts of carbon emissions into the ozone. Wetlands are estimated to hold 771 gigatons of greenhouse gases. That's about 10 to 20 percent of the globe's terrestrial carbon. Overall, 60 percent of wetlands have been destroyed. 90 percent of Europe's are completely gone, while 90 percent of Malaysia's have been drained for rice cultivation. So why should you go to the wetlands? There's lots of mosquitoes. I love it here. This is great. It's the best vacation ever. Lots of endangered species. Lots of rainfall. It's the best vacation ever. I love this. Lots of exotic plant life. <laughs> and if you sign up today, you'll get a free squeegee. Come to the wetlands today!